Hi guys, welcome back to Tax TV. Um, Dave's third on the uh, fan cams, uh, two 0 defeat, obviously to to Reading today. Dave, um, what went wrong today? Um, I mean, it was supposed it were better than Luton first half anyway. Uh, the red cards ultimately that cost us. Um, well, I think before we get to the red cards, I think the fact he didn't start Schmidt was um, was his first mistake. I thought Schmidt had a good um, a good game on Tuesday against Middlesbrough, and he was very unlucky to be dropped for that. And I'm not convinced with Freezer. Definitely not. He's not shown anything again today, and I I think Schmidt should have been started ahead of him. I really do. Yeah. But ultimately, we've paid the price by not putting away our chances early on, due to the lack of striker, and obviously we've um, turned attack into complete capitulation, haven't we? And um, yeah, that red card has just completely transformed the game for me. Completely transformed it. I mean, it's clear and obvious. We talk about it again. Strikers needed at the football club. Even last season, we arguably needed a striker. And uh, it's, it's clear and obvious today that going forward, you know, I mean, we've created a couple of chances. I mean, and and, and their chances, you know, they had a few. Not just the uh, the sending off, but from our attacking perspective, clearing the ball upfield, and we were in danger straight away. Yeah, it's. That's that's what they seem to do though, Reading. They didn't. They just seem to hit you on the on the counter strike, and um, mm -hmm. it was. Yeah, it's 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 just Barnsley though. It's they're, they're always the architects of their own downfall, and they always turn attack into defence, and you know likely as not concede or as today give away a red card. But yeah, within the space, was it six seconds to you know be attacking the opposition goal, and then yeah, the man down. Just it was just so Barnsley. Mm. I mean, it's hard, isn't it? Because I've said to the other lads who I've spoke to before you that we can't really... I don't think the players didn't put in a performance today. I think the red cards have ultimately cost us a performance, not just the result as well, because up, up until then we were playing well. I don't know if we'd have scored we 11 men on field, to be fair with you. I'm, re I'm not convinced we would have scored. Uh, I know we've scored three in League Cup, but none in the league up to now. And it sort of uh, uh, brings me back to the end of last season. I know we won them last few games, but you could see even then we had not not necessarily the right amount of creativity, not necessarily the right clinical finisher in the box. Yeah, it's you know it's it, it, it just looked lightweight at front when you saw the team sheets mm. and nothing against Connor Chaplin. So I thought he had a cracking game today. He was all over the place. He put in a great shift, mm. but he he needs help up front, and I don't think Freezer's the right person to be up there with him. Mm. Freezer was really isolated today. He he had one chance. Okay, the keeper put in a decent save, but no, he needs to be at least you know he's not warranted a start to me, Freezer. Mm. It's the same with Chris Meyer. I don't think he's warranted a start, but obviously he always gets picked in the <laughs> but. You know, and I said, give Freezer a few games to get to get himself into the into the, the championship pace. But no, we need to. Something needs to change, and I, I don't think he's the answer up front. I really don't. Mm. We do I mean, need a new striker in. We need we need a striker, a striker, not because this Freezer is meant to be a winger, a midfielder. We need an out and out striker, don't we? It's as plain and simple as that. Well, I watched uh, I watched the Forest Cardiff game lunchtime, and Kiefer Moore he. He didn't do much for the rest of the game, but he put his two chances away. Yeah, no, that's, that's it. Like, like that. mm. And that's the sort. Of, I'm not saying we need to keep him more, but I'm saying we need someone that can put their chances away. He didn't contribute anything else to the game really, mm. but he put the two chances away, and they won two 0 So yeah, we need someone that's going to capitalise on those and put the ball in the back of the net. And it's, there's lots of oohs and ahs, but there's no there's no style of racing. So we're just not we're just not scoring, mm. not in the league anyway. And obviously, two games in, no wins, no goals scored. I mean, going into Coventry next week, does few few fans have said it already? Must win, or do you, do you feel that? Or well, it it depends how you're going to classify must win. We we mm. it is a must win, but purely to get us on the on the board and get some points on there. Mm. It's um, it's a game we are capable of winning. I'm not sure what the team's going to be now. Obviously. Um, Anderson's going to be out. I'm not sure how many games he's banned for. Um, for it's two a, yellows. It's one game for Anderson. I'm not sure on Ellick. And is it? It's three games, isn't it? Straight red, but I think so. But I, I see. I, I, I don't agree that was a red card. It was a foul. 
it was a yellow card at most, but it wasn't a red. He, I think it's he he went last man one won't he? It went, it went last man, and obviously it ruled. But I mean, I get what I get what you're saying, and I, and I think their players made most the most of it and really throw it thrown his centre the floor. I question where's the communication from Walton, you know, because Walton cleared it, 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 it so he no yeah. need to, to put an hand on him. But as soon as you do that, and there is a bit of contact, and the go down, ref's always going to favour the player that's gone down. They've done it all game though, Reading, to be fair, especially in the first half. They've been calling yeah. the ref from the first kickoff. They were terrible. I thought Luton were bad last week, but, you know, Reading were <laughs> awful. Yeah, by the letter of the law, a red card, but I just think of it when it, when it's obviously Walton's going to get there first. And he was going to use a bit of common sense, but, you know, the ref was lacking a lot of things today, common sense being one of them. And, you know, it's, you know, if he's, if he's banned for three games, then. It's very, very harsh. It really is. Yeah, it's, um, it's disappointing. It's disappointing. We, we've been his we first, have... first start for us, isn't it, as well? Uh, sent he off. Was playing so well. He was having such a good game as well. And I think he looks really solid at the back. Yeah, yeah. And it was just, uh, it was just a, silly, a silly error. Mm. I think like Anderson's red card was a silly error. He's put his hand down and grabbed the ball. And it's like, mm. is it is the instinct that's made him do that? Because it's... Oh. That was avoidable as well. They yeah, both, both yeah, yeah. Were avoidable. Mm. They really were, and it's just going to knock up your team selection now for the next week. Are they going to have um, Almirin and Solbauer at central? Yeah, probably. Pro- probably going to have to switch system around a little bit. Maybe try. I mean, you know, in a in a weird way, mate, it might be an opportunity to try something different. I mean, Steve, I've, he's done his interview. He's questioned the formation. He says it's negative. He says it's set up to win games 1-0 and all this and that. Mm-hmm. So maybe, I suppose, we're, we're missing those key players. Is it a chance to maybe try something different, go with four at the back and maybe a, a simple 4-4-2 or something like that? Yeah, we're going to have to change it. You know, it's, it's an enforced change now. We're going to have to change something. And, you know, it's... I, I, I quite like the three centre backs at the back. I think it works really well for us, and mm. um, especially against Middlesbrough, I thought we were absolutely superb. Mm. And I thought we were today until obviously it got disrupted. But yeah, he's going to have to change it around now next Saturday. And obviously, I don't think we've got three centre backs now. We, we can play. We can play Saul Bauer and unless Ludovic plays centre back. But I know Jordan Williams has done so. He might. He might. It might be Jordan Williams, Rich Meyer, uh, Jordan Williams, Saul Bauer. An Alm, and then you might have Ritz Meyer as the other uh, wing back or something like that. But I mean, it is disappointing. But at the same time, I look at it, it may have been a different game had we not had them sending off. So, but Undoubt, undoubtedly, a different game. Undoubtedly, it, yeah. it, it changed the game. We were dominant until then. But like you said, would we have scored? Mm. It, it just couldn't see where a goal was coming from. Mm. I'm, I'm, I mean, lastly as well, I mean, it, it summed it up pretty much their first goal, didn't it? Scrappy, it had to be a scrappy goal. Yeah. It had to be something like that. And I mean, the second goal, I can't take nothing away from that wonderful strike. Poor defending, really. Poor header out from Ludwig. But the first goal, so scrappy, probably avoidable. Um, but it, it, it were what it were. And uh, unfortunately, you know, we, we came out of the game that we lost. But... Uh, I don't want to get worried just yet, obviously, because it's only two games in and I'm sure a lot of fans will be the same. But uh, it, it, I am worried in the sense that we need players in. That's the main thing. We do need players in. There was a, there was quite a lot of people that didn't show up today. Um, as I say, Chaplin, he ran his socks off. I thought Jordan Williams, I, don't know, I thought he had a really good game again. Mm. I thought he played great in the, in the Cup in the week. And there was some there was some good individual performances. Walton made some good saves. Um Ludovic's well I, I don't think he had a great game today but no I, I called Ludovic out today mate I said Ludovic were very poor today the Barnard gave him man of the match and I, I don't know where he's got, he's got that from because I was it really it baffled me that did mm. it really did I thought he he gave the ball away a lot he was out of position yeah it's yeah. a lot of people didn't turn up today and People do need to turn up, especially when the team is so small and we haven't got that rotation. And yeah, obviously, with two players out now, we're gonna to have to call on an even on, on more players that are gonna be uh, not used to playing. And it's, oh, it's 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 not ideal losing your first two games is not ideal, and then losing two players mm-hmm. in time for your third game is not ideal. It's 
Yeah, vitally. It is vital based on that. Yeah. Next Saturday is vital. Not on the course of the season, but to get us going and to get a bit of confidence back in the team. Three points is vital. It's at home as well, you know. So, Reading away, we can chalk off Reading away anyway because Reading away to me is a COVID-19 of football. It's, <laughs> it's just not good. I hate this. I really do. It's the it is a bad away there, day, mate. It is a bad yeah, away bad day. Away. Yeah, bad away. <laughs> but yeah, bring on Chelsea. We'll see what we can do with them on Wednesday and then bring on Coventry next Saturday and we need to get our league campaign kick-started and hopefully we can then. 100% mate. Okay, dokes. Well, uh, pleasure, Dave, for, for coming on and uh, I will speak to you in the week. Uh, might get you on for a preview if you're free one day for either Chelsea or uh, Coventry. I will keep you in, in touch with you on Facebook. Okay, so, dokes. Nice one. Cheers, No worries, mate. I'll speak to you soon. Thanks, mate. Take care. See you, mate. Bye.